Beverly Hills, swimming pools, movie stars, and the second time around watch company. All right, John, let's get up in your business. Welcome back to this episode of Hobby of Ours. I am your host, D, and today I am with John Goldfarb of Second Time Around Watch Company, and it's secondtimearoundwatch.com? Uh, secondtimearoundwatchco.com, Dot abbreviation com. for company. Awesome. Uh, I found John's watch shop years ago on the interwebs, and then years passed, I was coming out to LA for a visit, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna see what watch shops are out in LA. And I didn't know that second time around was in LA, and so I started hunting, so I arranged to come in, got to meet him, met Leo, saw some fabulous vintage watches. So why is it important to trust your seller in a watch deal? Any watch deal, absolutely, but with vintage, all the more important to trust your watch dealer. Now, John has trusted me into the store. What he doesn't know is I've come here to get all of his watches at a great price. And uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, so to kick it off, John, why don't you give me a little sense of, hey, what got you into watches, period, as a boy, as what? an adult, whatever? Well, I, I was in the corporate world for 23 years, and it got a little unethical. Oh, wow. And so, Imagine that, big corporations? Yeah, I was in a big corporation. <laughs> and uh, I was uncomfortable and decided, you know, it, it's time for me to consider something else, like maybe, uh, doing my own thing, owning my own business. Did you say it was time for a change? It was time for a change, <laughs> pun intended. Um, so I went ahead and, and uh, started looking online to see what businesses were available. And, and I always had a, a small watch collection, yeah. nothing of any value. And I had, my father was a, a minor low-end watch collector. Oh, okay. And uh, so I saw this and I thought, this is different. And the, the difference was, is that uh, I never had any experience with sales. Okay. My background's always been service. So we yeah. approach this business differently than our competitors. We approach it from a service standpoint. That's great news to hear, because it's, yeah. it's rare. Yeah, yeah. We, we focus on, and we realize, um, you know, we want the watch to be correct. We service every watch before we put it out for sale. Because you, you have service in-house. We have service in-house, and we only use our in-house watchmakers. Right. Um, and that, it'll service pieces for customers as well, not just cor the pieces Correct, yourself. and we actually yeah. service little secret for a lot of the big name guys you see out there we do extreme cases uh, we have we employ actual watch makers they can make a component if it doesn't exist like fabricating parts that's they can awesome. fabricate some parts uh, not everything but you yeah. know there are some limitations so so our approach is more from a service standpoint nobody's right. on commission there's no hard sale yeah. we want people to walk out with what they want and yeah. because of that about 80 percent of our clientele our customers are repeat buyers repeat business yeah. that's awesome I think I don't know, I buy and sell like watches on eBay and Chrono, but never at this scale. And uh, okay. it's, it's, really, it's really spectacular. If you are in Beverly Hills, come check out the shop. They're super friendly. I talked with Leo with a, a bunch of pieces, but also the website is amazing. Well, thank you. And by the way, we're also on Chrono24 as well as eBay. We oh, just, okay. just started on eBay. Uh, oh, eBay really? came and uh, uh, wooed us and uh, you know. They courted you? They courted us. Dinners? Very, they literally <laughs> did actually, yes. Yeah. They haven't called me for a dinner. That is uh, Good to know, because it's like, like I've said in the past, having a great watchmaker is an amazing thing. I have one on the East Coast because I'm based over there. But buying a watch, knowing full well that you can trust it, like you get, you give a two-year warranty with Correct. your watches, which Correct. is like unheard of, certainly in the used space. So the thing is, you have to be able to know what you're getting in a vintage piece, that it's real, that it hasn't been monkeyed with, that it's not Frankenwatch. 
And you can only do that by trusting the seller. And that's why yeah. I feel comfortable recommending you to anyone Thank who's you. gonna see this video. Yeah. We receive a lot of watches uh, that people try to sell us that we reject yeah. because they've been modified so much. And then we also get re uh, watches from uh, customers that bring them in and ask us to make them correct. And some of them are mm -hmm. major projects. We're, we have one right now. Uh, okay. We also overhauls. Yeah, we also act as referees for a couple of the auction houses, uh, oh, some of the big auction houses. When somebody buys a watch and there's a question on it, they'll either ask us to authenticate it, verify what's done, or ask us to repair it, and then you know oh, that right sort on. of thing. So I had no idea. You yeah, did we, that. that's rad. I, I don't want to say we reluctantly do that, but they, they, <laughs> it is a lot of work on our part. And, and it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge because, quite frankly. We, we provide a, uh, repairs to service what we're going to sell here in the store. Right. But the reality is we, we don't decline work from anybody. And so no. we don't have as many watches out as we'd like because we're attending to customers that are coming right. in. Yeah. Right. So we've got a bunch of watches we're going to take a look at today. Some uh, he's picked, some I've picked. Is my Angelus chronograph it, still here? Did that sell? It's sold. Oh, heartbreaking. Yeah, uh, they had a flashback in April, my last trip. Worked a deal. Uh, they fixed my Hoyer uh, Regatta watch. I was looking to trade it for something. That Angelus chronograph, I'll pop up a picture. I talked about it. It was gorgeous. And they did, that was one of their full um, reworks of it. Brought it back to life uh, according to spec. It was gorgeous. I am sad to see that one go. But plenty of other watches on offer today. So before we get into the watches, Tell me a little bit about, now that you know your background, a little bit about the store itself, how long you've been in Beverly Hills and, okay. and whatnot. Well, let me start on the history of the store. Yeah, yeah um, perfect. I bought the store back in 2006 from the original owner, who was a third generation watchmaker and jeweler. Oh, right on. So his grandfather started out in Philadelphia. His father moved out here to uh, Los Angeles, and then he started out as a watchmaker and then uh, became a merchant. Um, he preferred to be a watchmaker rather than a merchant, oh, and which okay. is why he sold the business. So there, there's a lot of history with, uh, with the business uh, from that standpoint. Um, we have originally you know, started out way before the internet age. And yeah, so everything yeah. was word of mouth and, and that right. sort of thing. Reputation. Right, reputation. And once you're on the internet, you're even under a bigger microscope yeah. uh, with all the different you know, chat rooms and right. everything like that. So which, it was one of the reasons when I bought the business, we started to focus only on vintage before there was vintage and some more modern uh, used watches. Right. Like what's a, what what range? Because I've seen we, some we, World War II watches. Yeah, we we basically say we used to say thirty years and older. It's more forty years and older. Once in a while, we'll have a newer piece come in. Okay. Um, sometimes a customer wants to do a trade, right. and it's a watch that's you know a desirable watch, and we'll consider that. Which cases have the Apple watches? I didn't see. <laughs> we do nothing. <laughs> everything's mechanical. We don't do yeah. anything with a battery or quartz movement. Yep. And the reason behind that is eventually all quartz movements will go bad. They will yep. burn out. The manufacturers don't supply the exact original movements. Any yeah. you know afterwards, you have to put something aftermarket. We're all into originality and yeah. being genuine, Makes so sense. that that hurts us that point. So mechanical, drop, dropping it off at 40 years, you're kind of on the cusp because you know, battery watches come out in the late 60s, early right. 70s. Um, now, about myself, I was in the corporate world as I, was, as I mentioned. It got a little unethical um, when I, I decided to leave mm -hmm. and uh, thought I want to do something different. I always had an interest in watches. I was looking online, saw this, came in, and I thought um, it's an opportunity, again, to approach it more from a service background because yeah, yeah. uh, we recondition every watch. We're, unlike most of our competitors, we truly do overhaul and service every watch before we put it out. Right. Um, and then we make sure we only put authentic parts in there. Um, which is difficult. Sometimes it may take us a couple of years to find the right thing. I remember that with the uh, the Angelus. But so so when you came to buy this business, mm -hmm. did you roll in heavy and say how much for everything? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I bought a business in an industry I knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. I had no experience on the retail side. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had no experience on sales, and you know, uh, and and I didn't have. A lot of knowledge of, of watches, uh, of the different brands. Well, you're so, crushing it now, so well done, sir. Well, thank you. So it, we pro again, it approaches. We try to approach it a little bit different. Our, our, our my bank account and the store's bank account might not be huge, but we sleep well at night. Amen, brother. That's well put. <laughs> All right. So before we get into these five watches, you service watches, you sell watches, two-year warranty on any watch purchased here. 
Am I leaving anything out? We do appraisals as well. Appraisals as well. <laughs> and authentication on older yeah. pieces. Authentication, okay, awesome. So that is uh, what you can expect when you roll through the door. Buy with confidence, I love these guys. All right, let's get into some of these watches now, shall we? Sure. Oh, and by the way, all the hyper activity for me today is brought to you by Intelligentsia Instant Coffee. <laughs> if I'm talking too fast, just turn the knob down. <laughs>